And what your mom does? Oh, my mom sits at home. And I was like, no way. They like to take chunks of you. Yeah. That you can, you hear the dolphins like giggling, like, yeah. and then all of a sudden they were just behind you and the turtles came close. And you can see, like I was in an aquarium. They were like, English Channel, it's, yeah. it's like a lottery. It will still be like freezing cold. Yeah. And you were just like, what was that? Yeah, yeah. And then sometimes I was like scared of my arms. Hello everybody, I'm Jonathan from the Cambridge Swimming Company and today I'm joined by a very special guest. We have Alessandra with us. Hello Alessandra. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you for having me. I'm sure that the water won't mind if we rest here for the night and leave before sunrise. Alessandra is a marath ultra marathon swimmer who has done, if I'm right, six out of the se Ocean Seven. Okay. Six out of seven. Six out of the Ocean Seven. And the reason she hasn't done the seven is at the moment no one can actually swim the seventh in Japan. So we'll probably get onto that uh, a little bit later. The further reason I wanted to get you on the channel was obviously for swims and the amazing achievements you've done so far. But. <laughs> I think what will be most interesting for our swimmers in England is that's a bit, gonna go. <laughs> is, is why you got into this in the first place. Because a mutual friend of ours has told me a little bit about, <laughs> about why. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I, I, I always love to swim, but uh, when we moved to Dubai, I have to quit my job because my husband got a great offer, great offer. And then my son was like two and a half years old. So I took him to the nursery. And then one of these days that we were at the nursery, he was selling what your father, they were asking what your father does, what your mother does. And then he was like all about like, oh, my father goes to Africa. He fixed the lion co uh, lion's uh, computer, the Hino computers, and what your mom does. Oh, my mom sits at home. And I was like, no way. <laughs> so that's so it. Then, yeah, then, that, that, that's then, like, then, I want to... Um, to swim further than most people will ever swim? <laughs> <laughs> no, I started with a, uh, 800 meters around okay. the barge. <laughs> All right, okay. Well. Yeah, there was like uh, Doctors Without, uh, Without Frontiers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doctors Without Borders. Without Borders, sorry, yeah. Uh, I mix like English with friend. <laughs> so yeah, it was 800 meters around the Burge. So I did the 800 and then next year I did like the one mile and... And the rest is history. <laughs> yeah. And then a 3K and then like Bosphorus from okay. three to six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just doubling the... Uh -huh. <laughs> But for those who don't know, the Bosphorus swim, that's got to be on most people's bucket list. Can you just tell them what that is? Uh, Bosphorus swims, it's such a beautiful swim in Turkey. You basically swim from Asia to yeah. Europe. In a, it's a 6K, like, but definitely you're going to swim this. Uh, it's an assisted under, swim, isn't it? Yeah, 2,000 two, uh, two two swimmers. Yeah at the water at the same time and it's a current assistant and it's magic because it's a different swim you know yeah. you because you have to the day before you go to the boat and they check they to check the points where the currents change so you have to find the current okay. so, so it's not a simple uh, swim okay. you know okay. don't just need to be yeah no no you have to find the current once you're on the current and they you're gonna you're gonna know it because it's the cold water ah. so if you're feeling cold in the right place and you're just gonna zoom yeah. so i did the six and a half k i like i like I was swimming like, a, uh, I don't know, uh, under uh, 50 minutes but, again. So <laughs> it was super fast. Yeah. Yeah, and the funny thing that it's that you have to know how to get out yeah. because if you, you if you miss, yeah, if you didn't get out the, the current at the right moment, you just miss the exit yeah. and they have a boat with the net to, to like fish the swimmers yeah. who couldn't make it. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. Amazing. So you went from there and then how do you go from a 6k swim to your first channel swim? Which was your first channel swim? 
My first channel swim was the in I mean, I my first book was for English channel. Okay. So uh, is that normal? No, 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 no. no. Uh, yeah, yeah. Usually they do the English channel was like like the last. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. The, Maybe it's just English people that do the English channel first because it's easier. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, in Brazil, it's like the ep I mean. The climax of your yeah, like yeah. open water swim, like I'm gonna do the English channel. So I was doing some small swims here in Dubai, and I was asked to join a re uh, triathlon relay. And during the transition area, I met a guy who crossed the English channel, okay. and he was telling me all about it and everything. And I was just like, I need to do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I came back home that that very day. Yeah. I came back home and sent emails to all pilots I could. Yeah. yeah. So the first who answered me back, I signed up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I made some mistakes because the only thing I remember from that, I reckon from that conversation that he was telling me, get the first first slot, first slot. Yeah. yeah. Which is yeah. 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 <laughs> Which you told me. Yeah. That's what I did. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get the first slot. So, but it's actually, traveling, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I completely forgot about the nip tide or spring tide. Ah. So, yeah, the the email that came back to me was like, hey, I can offer you a first slot in the spring tide, and I was like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then someone else may have made that mistake. <laughs> yeah, you did. Cool. I'm not changing it. I've got the first one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was like, yes, okay, spring tide, first slot. That's it. And then. I went to start studying whatever, uh, whatever I had signed up and I realized it was, okay, it's going to be a double work. Yeah. I, I think Sophie's, who's another coach with ours, I think hers is a spring tide as well, yeah. which is why it took her so long. Yeah, it's really hard, yeah, especially uh, in the end. Yeah. If you're not, if, I mean, if you have a good day, you know, which is in... English channel, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's like a lottery. <laughs> so then the, the, this, it's gonna be, it's gonna run really fast yeah. and take you fast there. But if you don't, if you, if you, it, yeah, you yeah. if you miss the tide, it Six means. Six hours of swimming down spot. That's what I did, like four hours yeah. looking Cap Grinney. <laughs> I was like, just, is that? <laughs> yeah, no, really, I was progressing 400 meters per oh. hour. That's what I said. Yeah. It's tiring, really yeah. frustrating. Yeah. But, to, but did it? Did yeah. It. Yeah. And that, so, that, well, so that wasn't your first one, though. No, um, but during the so I start training and then start panicking because it was like I had like one year and eight months to do the English channel. So yeah. as 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 I was studying what I had to do, and I realized like, oh my god, this is big. Yeah. So I have, I mean, not the only the distance, but I had no experience open water whatsoever apart from the yeah, uh, yeah. the Bosphorus which is not like oh open open yeah. water <laughs> let's say and they said okay I need to swim in open water I need to get uh, used with the cold so I sign up for um, were you you were here at the moment I was yeah I was in Dubai so the thing I think it's to talked to about is getting ready for the cold <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. So that, that okay, uh, you can do like bath, bath, uh, cold baths and this, but you have to. At yeah. some point you have to, and you have to do like two hours, three hours, four hours, six hours. So this is what they ask, yeah? The yeah, six yeah, hours the under, yeah. under 15 or under 16, it depends which association you sign yeah. up, but that's it. Yeah, thank you. So I did uh, the, a year prior my, my the English channel. I did uh, Bonifacio Strait, okay. which is from Sardinia to Corsica. Yeah. It's not a long swim. It's uh, like straight. I always say straight line because <laughs> as straight as it can be. Yeah, yeah. The straight line, like point to point, it's a 16k. Yeah. But swimming, you can take like 20k. Yeah. yeah. So I That's did. Short one. That's short yeah, yeah. It was a uh, first start. Yeah, 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 short one. So I did that one in January before my the English Channel year that I was swimming. 
I did a coastal swim in Brazil, but this is, was not to test the temperature, but the, the, the length. Yeah. It was a 36K coastal swim. So I was like, okay, so I could, yeah, so I could like training the feeding, yeah. uh, by the boat, the hours and the mindset, yeah. you know, we start at night, which is really important as well to train some, yeah. sometimes in the night. So did, have you found your kind of nutrition plan has changed as you've gone through the swims or did you find something early and you've just kept that? No, 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 I completely, I completely changed it. As I said, I had no idea. Yeah. So I start asking people, what do you do? What do you eat? Uh, what did you drink? Uh, did you eat? Did you only drink? And then I start uh, trying all the stuff. So the first thing I've learned is that I just can't eat solid. Okay. Yeah. I can. Okay, it takes a lot of time to eat solid and and if it's cold, sometimes what you think it's good when the cold got chewy or sometimes impossible yeah. to eat like chocolate. People always say, okay, I'm going to eat chocolate. No, bro, okay. the worst idea is really to eat chocolate because it gets so hard yeah. and chewy and stuck in your teeth. It's, yeah. It doesn't work. And, uh, and then I had friends like, oh, jelly beans, uh, all these uh, tri uh, tri triathlon gels, like sweet, uh, yeah. fruity. And then I start feeling really, uh, my stomach was really upset. So, so I start from solids to sweet, uh, all formulas. And now I start with liquid, unflavored, okay. yeah, just maltodextrin. Simple, basic, yeah. That's it. And sometimes the banana. Yeah, exactly. So but this is what I can do. Like, so of course, you have to have like plan B, plan C, yeah, plan yeah, D. Yeah. So my plan B is like black tea. Okay. Plan C it's uh, full fat, uh, full fat flat coke. Okay. <laughs> That's the triathlete's favorite thing, isn't it? Mate? Yeah. Always what they say. Yeah, some banana to wash, yeah. uh, to clean the mouth, you know, if it's so long hours, so, uh, long hours sometimes you need something yeah. like, ha not heavy, but something in your stomach, yeah, yeah. so I have bananas, so, and Did that's it. Did you have to do anything to combat the salt with your salt tongue and that sort of thing, or was we yeah. never in the water long enough for that to be a No, no, the, the English channel was like 16 hours and 23 minutes, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. yeah. In the end, my mouth was like my my tongue was peeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't I couldn't feel anything for a week. Oh, wow. <laughs> but I learned that you know the coconut oil. Yeah, yeah, if the, you yeah. pat you pat a little bit in your mouth before, it, yeah. before it's good. Oh, cool. So, of all of the channel swims you've done, What's that? which was your favourite? Which was the most challenging? The coldest? <laughs> I, I mean, the coldest obviously was the North Channel. Yeah. The, the, I mean, uh, people used to compare English Channel. Did Sarah Thomas did it twice. Please. Yeah, yeah, she she did the same year. Uh, like uh, she was like two windows before mine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway. But I I miss her. So yeah. I was in Ireland, Northern Ireland, but I was in the North training because yeah. there was colder. So I was doing my acclimatization there yeah, yeah. before. So. Yeah, North Channel definitely. So people compare like the channels like the summits. They say the English Channel would be like the Everest because it's famous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would say North Channel is the K2. Okay, yeah. They always say Everest, not the hardest climb, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and now it's, I mean, if it's a good day, really, really good day, like yeah. flat water and no wind at all, it will still be like freezing cold yeah, yeah. there's no way to run out that's, um, that's island yeah exactly that's it yeah. and cold i'm talking about like 14 degrees okay, yeah. Yeah. and yeah, going yeah. down and how long were you in the water for that 12 hours long time in that temperature. yeah 12 hours 21 minutes in a nip tide so this is another thing that they're not channel for that one really you need to yeah i was like yeah that's how you swim in a nip tide <laughs> So actually in North Channel, they don't allow swimmers to go in the spring tide because even the Nip, it's it's quite like... Yeah. There's, a, there's a whirlpool up there, isn't there? Somewhere. I only know from Ross Edgley's swim, but I don't know if it's further up in Scotland or not. Uh, up and in the middle can be a little bit... Up and... Yeah, 
it's quite close to, okay, to, to, to right. Scotland. Great. Um, so that's the coldest. That and was the hardest the because of the cold. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this. Uh, Alone. Of course, English Channel took me a lot yeah. because I was the wrong decision. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Well, I'll get booked on. Got booked on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, but definitely North China was. It took take me a lot to to keep staying, to keep swimming and stay in the water. Yeah, yeah. But it was. Was it was a fight every 30 minutes? I was just like, okay, just another 30 minutes. Yeah, if I'm not, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try just Small another, time, yeah, time. exactly. Um, uh, Cook Strait, it's not uh, the, uh, the longest one, it's um, it's a, again a 27 <laughs> straight line, yeah. but the currents are crazy, yeah, yeah. completely unpredictable, and it can be in the beginning, in the middle, in the end. Uh, that was like rough, rough yeah, water. Cold, I would imagine. Cold, cold. Yeah. yeah, but not that cold as uh, not, can be. It depends when yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, sign yeah. up. I did in end of January. Oh, yeah. So I got waters varying from 14 to 16, okay. at some yeah. point 18, but it, no, 17, but again. Yeah, all over the place, yeah. And then my swim was like a zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Yeah, it yeah. was ridiculous and beautiful place to swim there it's beautiful no matter the, the life uh, the marine life it's so alive you can hear yeah. almost everything i could see like tons of jellyfish they were like two three meters yeah. beneath but i could see them like yeah all, that makes a difference yeah, yeah it's so brings us on to it that i i'm sure this is probably the most interested part of this swimming that people will ask me about is wildlife and and jellyfish are probably top no no jellyfish are second sharks are probably top yeah so what's your experience of those jellyfish let's go jellyfish first and you talk about them okay ja everybody says like oh, okay maybe jellyfish is a good thing for you because it's gonna make you warm you're gonna be have some kind of adrenaline and then you're gonna forget <laughs> that you're a pain stung by one. <laughs> and i was like yeah yeah have you been stung by a lion mate yeah. <laughs> so you're never gonna say that but yeah no channel was like it was last day with it. oh horrible really really so so the the figure there's a like a jellyfish spotter Okay. They, they, he stays in front of the in boat. No, no, on the boat, oh, in the boat, the boat and uh, really up. And he, at some point, he was like, "Go further out, go further in, yeah. try this, try that." And yeah, I, they're just everywhere. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're everywhere. And at some point, he was just like, <laughs> "Just swim <Good> through," <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. You know, uh, so I start taking antihistaminics so like. Uh, a week prior the swim. Okay, just to build up. Yeah, uh, yeah. Thank God I did that. I was like, not like I was quite uh, skeptical, you know. To like, ah, come on. Uh, and then Tracy, she, she's my crew member. She's like, I'm telling you, listen, do it, do it. You're gonna regret if you don't. Uh, so I did that, and it was like, I got stung my right side like from the face and the back, the arm and everywhere. everywhere and then the left side and then again and then oh, again and then alternating. Yeah, I was yeah, they're big, aren't they? they were really big and this amazing creatures, they like to swim like upside down. Oh awesome. No. Uh, so Just when for you. Yeah, exactly. The, some swimmers say they, they chase the swimmers. Yeah, yeah. So, so when they upside down, they, they look like a big cauliflower, but with long tentacles yeah, like yeah. that you cannot see. So you just see the, the, the brown brush, but they're like two or three meters long. Yeah, yeah, and it, when you just like see that, you're already swimming on it. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, it's horrible. So but yeah. The visibility in the North Channel, I guess, isn't as, as good. It's beautiful. Oh, is it? It's okay. Super, super clear water. Oh, I suppose the Gulf Stream comes closer there, isn't it? Yeah, so. No, no, super clear water. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. And so, and then, I mean, the hardest in, the, in a different way, uh, definitely Molokai. Yeah. It's a 45k. It's I think that's the one in my head I would be constantly thinking. 
Yeah. What's that? What's that? <laughs> yeah, that, that you just don't see anything. You just see the bioluminescence. So yeah. you, uh, sometimes you just get more. Uh, Which is cool. The shape. Yeah, but it's. It's oh, do you mean you see it from something moving? Something moving oh, or okay. sometimes... Yeah, that's not cool. <laughs> no, and sometimes it's just the wave crashing like your side and you're just like, what was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then sometimes I was like scared of my arms, you know, I just doing the stroke yeah. and then I see that... Okay, I saw something. And then you feel things bumping on you and you can see anything. Yeah. And... Uh, there, there was a uh, there's you swim with a boat in a kayak the boat goes in front the kayak goes along uh, your side you have to swim like maximum two meters from the kayak yeah. so the shark shield will work yeah. and that, that's enough to put most people <laughs> off right there so yeah they need the shark shield so, yeah. two actually two. yeah one in the boat in front and one in the kayak yeah. and 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 to be honest, it doesn't mean that they're yeah, gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, a small comfort. Rather. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's yeah, it's a small comfort because to be honest, what the the pilot told me, so the sharks will not close, not not close, will not get close because they don't like the 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 boat motor. Yeah, yeah. Rather so that's it. Yeah. Otherwise, if they are curious, they will come along and yeah. they're gonna check you. Just stay close to the kayak. Uh, Play natural. Well, I've seen lots of those Ocean <laughs> Ramsey videos, and you just touch their nose and push them away. Have you seen that? Yeah, I'll go. Oh. <laughs> okay. BS. I don't that. <laughs> I've seen her do it. I don't know how she uh, yeah, I'm that. so sorry. That yeah, yeah. They're probably a train shark. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the, so this is, was the, the whole thing. So, and we are playing like seesaw with the kayak because it, it's, it's wavy. Oh. You know, it's not choppy, it's wavy. Yeah, yeah. And it, it was just like, I couldn't see the kayak. At some point I was just guiding by the, the shark shield that I could okay. see at night. Yeah. Is there you have a, a light on it then? No, the, the, it's, you just go swim during when the, the full moon. So that it's really clear, the waters are really clear. So that you can, you have some visibility yeah, yeah. even during the night. And that I could, the only way that I could like guide myself was through the the shark shoot yeah. because it's not all every time that i could see the kayak the boat forget yeah, okay and it's all dark because the no lights at all to attract yeah, fish and then you attract the yeah. whole chain of food let's put that way yeah, cool. so yeah it's scary so, so it, even you don't have a light in the boat for the boat to, to you no all it's dark uh, no all dark uh, think, is that the only one that you have to be dark then I'm like English channel. You can start at night. My yeah. I started. Yeah, but, but in English channel, don't you normally have a uh, a light or something? Yeah, I had a light, but a light, this is another thing. The like English channel they ask you for green lights. Blue. No channel they ask for blue light. Okay. So I arrived in Molokai with like one green light, blue light. They said no. <laughs> <Put those> away. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here you can use one because we we can see you can use one in your head in red, not blinking. Okay. Uh, but now we are talking, we are discussing some rules that about that no, no lights whatsoever yeah. and might be like only day swims. Okay. But again... Is it possible day swim? Yeah. So that, uh, which is, brings us on nicely to the problem of Japan. Uh, yeah, the day swims, but the problem is like a day, it's usually um Molokai it's like it's a 45k yeah, so this is a very long way yeah so usually you can swim like the the, the, the fastest swim swimmer did like in 12 hours yeah. so you're gonna start at night or you're gonna finish at night so the the thing is they don't want any swimmers swimming at night in the trench uh, at okay. night yeah, this okay. is where the cook in the cookie cutters they the, the attack the, the all five swimmers happen in the cookie, cu cookie, cutters, yeah. cookie cutters in the trench which i won't describe to people because yeah yeah it's a rock yeah 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 I mean, they are not little, they like to take chunks of you, yeah, that, that's yeah. it. <laughs> I put them in the same category as a camel spider in terms of people don't want to know about them. Uh, no. <laughs> so yeah, so they, it's a, 
It's in between 9 p.m. and 2 a.m., which is right, right, right in the middle of the channel. Yeah. And it's like the, the, it will be like around five kilometers depth. Yeah. So they come up to feed. Good. And is that, it's not whales they normally eat or, or anything? Uh, anything, uh, like sharks, they like to take a con uh, uh, dolphins. Okay, well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because dolphins don't normally scare both sharks off, don't they? But not that. Yeah. They are pretty fast, these things. Like, they're not big, like one, yeah. one meter and a half. <laughs> yeah, but they're pretty fast and yeah. they. Like, do you want me to describe yeah. what they do? <laughs> I know what they are. I just know a lot of people won't want to know what they are. <laughs> okay. Although, there's, a, there's a cartoon um, in England called Octonauts, where they, they, and they're on that. So the kids will know what they are. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so. Um, so it's a constant threat, you know. Yeah. So, uh, the so you got to just kind of keep that out of your head or. Yeah, I know, all the time. And then, then the, the, the pilot was like, okay, uh, try to swim. Uh, if I tell you to swim really close to the car, don't ask why, just do it. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. Pretend there's not a reason. Uh, and then another another advice was like, uh, if you feel something bumping on you, just like short strokes and try to kick your legs close and do some like, get off me. Yeah. And then at some point I'd start feeling bumping, something bumping on me. And I was like, oh my God, no, please, no. <laughs> but no. Oh, so something did bump you and, not, and it wasn't the kayak? No, uh, no, I don't know. But it, it, it's normal. Yeah, to, yeah, it could be anything. Yeah, it could be anything. Like in Cook Strait, I swam, I don't know if I can say like a pod of crew. Yeah. yeah. It's a pod. It was like swimming. Pod, but yeah, but, yeah, but it, it was like... Warm. Yeah, probably they call it like the the sea monkey. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like a small shrimps. Really, it was like swimming in a bowl of like crispy rice. Uh, I could almost scoop them. I was like, what's going on here? So yeah, I think in my head I'd be thinking, where's the whales that are going? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And then I start listening like, crick, 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 crick. I was like, okay, they're coming for me. And I'm right in the middle of the feet. <laughs> You speed up a little bit there? Unconsciously. Yeah, so um, you said that one, they don't want you there in the middle at night. Um, and the last of the seven swims have now said no one at night. Is that that's right? What? No, yeah, they, we were still, I mean, uh, I recently. The uh, Tsugaru Strait? Tsuga, yeah, yeah, Tsugaru, yeah, Tsugaru Strait. That's the problem uh, because of the boats, uh, traffic and war boats and everything. Yeah. This is what they said that this season, uh, last season, and uh, there were two associations. One association was like Captain Ishii and he's a 72 yeah. captain. He re retired and the other one, it was like Ocean Navy, I guess. Yeah. So there's a lot of misunderstanding when they are like uh, translating all the rules from from Japanese to English, and some rules was like were not like translated at all. Uh, okay. So, so this is what Sar yeah. Sarah Thomas started all yeah. this conversation so it could about be, it. Could it. Be, uh lost in translation problem rather than oh wow. yeah but it was like a really like yeah 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 it was a it's a rule really important it was about that you couldn't cross like imaginary line so you cannot go from west to east so you have to swim all only west okay and most of the swims were doing an s so at some point they yeah, are crossing yeah, yeah. they're crossing this imaginary line which was never an uh, issue uh, and then there was and another thing that they forgot to mention in the contract it was that your the maximum hours was yeah. 14 hours yeah so it's a I mean, challenge it's, for most people yeah exactly uh, because it's a I mean, what did Andy Donaldson do it I, I don't know I should have looked that up he did, did less than 14 or he did thir 13 i guess okay. but he crossed yeah he was really fast yeah. swimmer but he did cross the imaginary line oh, okay. 
and but he was not swimming with uh, Ocean Navy. He was swimming with uh, uh, Captain yeah, yeah. Ishii. He was the last one, I think. Yeah. Mm. Or so far. Now, yeah, Captain Ishii came from retirement to, 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 help to, to help him. And after all this nightmare and all this drama that uh, Ocean Navy decided that we are not taking any international swims anymore because of all the fuzz. So Captain Ishii came and said, OK, I can take some swimmers, but uh, like I'm old, I'm retired. I'm going to take three I'll swimmers, uh, three, four swimmers, and I'll choose which one I'll take. And yeah, per season, and yeah. that's it. Okay, so it's still, it's still doable. But just the waiting list. Yeah, like a barber. The waiting list has an expiry date as well. Yes, yeah. yes. I mean, we and we never know. So can barber and on this, she is gonna try Tsugaru this year yeah. with Captain Ishii. Okay. Last year she was with Ocean Navy, and the same okay. date yeah. at Andy, and you could see that the difference. She got into the boat, she paid oh, everything, yeah. no risk on the ball. The, yeah. the guy said, no, this is not previous, so she didn't give up. Didn't even get, didn't even get in. She didn't um, uh, get in the water. She put her cap on, paid everything, and they said no. Wow. And, and that's got to be the worst. It's yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. And, just and, yeah. and so uh, another topic people will be interested in is, is that, just how much it costs to do all these swims. So English Channel, £5,000, I'm saying. If you, once you take into travel, the boat, hotel... Yeah, yeah, I, I can it all more. If you add it all up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I would say like five to six. Yeah, yeah. Thousand pounds. And how do the rest compare to that? Uh, I imagine the travel is more for most of them. Yeah, but again, let's put uh, just the fees, you know, like uh, the English channel you have, the, the pilot fees, you have the association fee, and then they... Interestingly, I don't know how much my English channel is going to cost me yet because uh, he hasn't decided the fees yet. <laughs> uh, really? Well, yeah, it's 2026. Is, to get the first slot was 2026. So oh. he said, your deposit's 500 pounds. I'll give you the accurate price that I know. <laughs> no, it won't very much. No, but, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I think we'll be around the yeah. 3,000. Yeah, it's to be probably. So this is the fees for English Channel. Uh, uh, it's quite expensive. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the most expensive or like, well longest one. Yeah no no just in terms of like gold yeah. and fees it's around sixty seven thousand pounds oh, oh, dollars. Just just for the pilot fees. Pilot That's fees. a lot of money. But yeah uh, but it includes the pilot, the shark shields and Okay the yeah there, there is extra things you need. Yeah, yeah yeah and the three kayakers for like eight and it's just over like eighteen hours or oh, it no what is it but there's a uh, some place some some channels, the pilots go uh, fees for like. If you go over. Yeah, and if you go over, that. I'll have to ask Sophie about that. Yeah. I don't know if the English Channel was. I don't know if she had to pay extra. <laughs> if she did, no, she yeah, wouldn't have told me. Just, she wouldn't have told okay. me. <laughs> I, I can't remember, but I mean, I can tell. I did 16 hours without extra fee. Uh, so, uh, I don't know. Uh, or she was over 24. I, <laughs> yeah, but I know that no channel, they ha you have an extra fee. So Catalina, so we talk about English Channel around three thousand yep. pounds pilot fee, and then you have extra fees for, and then but so they're going over the time here. Yeah, and uh, Catalin, Catalina, three thousand dollars, but you have to pay for the kayakers. Yep. Three hundred dollars per kayaker, and then after some boats they. They charge you after 10 hours, yeah, yeah. other boats after 12 hours, and then you have to you have to pay extra fee for the pilots and the, the kayakers yeah, yeah. as well. Um, North Channel, I whew, can't remember. I think it's around. I'm sure the information is available on the website. Yeah, so, uh, let's, right let's, so let's, between let's, three thousand pounds and. You said seven thousand dollars. Seven thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. Cook straight. It's expensive as well. Okay. Yeah. 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 Are, are there less boats that do the cook straight? I just assume they are. I don't know why. So there was like there's one before it was only Philip Rush. Yeah. But now there's um, there's another boat where I did with this other boat, other boat, uh, Katabatic. Yeah. 
One thing I did like about the cook straight, I don't know if it was you that told me or if I saw it in an interview or if um, I read it somewhere, that you got uh, lifetime free travel on the ferry. That's so true, good. that's true. I'm gonna get my card. You did that for the English Channel as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I mean, I don't know how many, I don't know what I, I think using? like 200, <laughs> I, th I think only 200 swimmers, yeah. less than 200 swimmers did cook straight and English and like a 2000. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but it That's would not, be nice, really yeah? Nice, it's a nice gesture. Yeah, it is. I know it doesn't cost them any money or very little money, but yeah. Yeah, nice. I mean, I don't, I don't think everybody will no. use that. It's a long way to go for most people. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know how many people from New Zealand have done that swim, but I imagine the percentage is quite low. I think it's less than 200. Yeah. Uh, the English uh, North Channel, same thing. So maybe they could offer the, the ferry from. Uh, I'll get that. That's, that's my new campaign. <laughs> <laughs> they could, I'll, I'll they can do this Catalina. Post, uh, yeah. Got predated as well so that it covers everyone. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I got my lifetime card from, from New Zealand. Yeah, that's very nice. So I have to go back there just yeah, to yeah. use my card. <laughs> okay, I'm not paying this time. And did you swim north to south? No, I did south to north. Okay, so yeah. finish in Wellington. Yeah. Oh, nice. I like Wellington. I've been to only the North Island of New Zealand. And Wellington was by far my favorite place. I mean, it really, is. That, that, that swim was beautiful Which, because uh, it was sorry like... To my family who don't live in Wellington. <laughs> that was a beautiful, because it was like, a, I started like five, 5 a.m. So I had like one hour, no, 4 a.m. So I have one hour night swim, like really scary. Yeah, yeah. With the krills and I all the there, sounds. Um, Adam Walker saying that, that his shark encounter was there. He, he saw sharks there and he heard dolphins come along and they scared it off. I'm not sure. I may have misremembered that. Yeah, I heard something that he said that the, 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 the dolphins came to, to help him yeah, yeah. with the shark. Which may just be in his head, but. Anyway. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on and swimmers yeah. here doing the swim, like you, you get scared with uh, your so head. We have, I was scared by my, 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 my arms. Yeah. <laughs> so my, but my goggles now, I won't say the brand just in case it puts people off. I really like them because they're very comfortable, but they're very angular. And so in your peripheral vision, every time I breathe, something moves and it's just my goggles. But I always think when it's jellyfish season, that it's jellyfish. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I like to swim with like clear goggles. Yeah. Like just be aware what was and big ones. You got big, big goggles. Not big, like uh, you know the um, the um, what's the Zogs one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think Zogs are very popular for open water. Because they're really comfortable, especially the the, the, with the I have one with the, the predator with the with the lens yeah. that they monochromatic, okay. photochromatic yeah, yeah. lens. So it's really good. You never know if you're gonna start at night yeah. or swim, or if you're gonna end at night, or if you're gonna swim no, through the night. <laughs> So this is important. And another thing that really matters is like like quick stops. Yeah. So you don't want to stay in the water and like change goggles and change caps yeah. and uh, especially if it's cold, you're gonna get cold. Yeah. Okay. So apart from the Ocean Seven swims, I know you have one other big swimming achievement: is the Triple Crown. Have you done the triple crown? Or? I did the yeah. triple, uh, triple crown, so, which so is... That's just adding the Manhattan 20 bridges, yes? Yes, yeah. yeah so, so English Channel, Catalina, and, and the 20 bridges. Yeah, then 20. How was that, the 20 bridges? It's not 20, it's 21. Okay. <laughs> Bridges. Is it called the 20 bridges? No, they call, they call 20 bridges, oh, but I was counting. I think everybody counts, you know, it's yeah. fun to count, but it's 21. Yeah. In the end, I was like, whoa, wait a second, there's another one. It's really, I mean, it's a, it's a really nice swim. Again, uh, you have to be really honest with your swim speed, yeah. because from your swim speed, they're gonna, they're gonna set what time you have to start, so you can have the most of the of the the tides. Yep. So it's three rivers, so you have to be in the right moment yeah, at, yeah, the, uh, at the right yeah. place, so then you can swim uh, uh, along. So it was 45 kilometers, and I swam in seven hours 45 sec uh, 45 minutes. Yeah. So it was pretty fast swim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. It's still a long. It's still a long time to swim. It is. And I, I imagine psychologically it helps that you can. There's a landmark to count down rather than swim that way for 33 no, that, that's what, odd kilometers. That that what telling you. It's fun because you count. You literally yeah. count the bridges. Yeah, and, and you can see uh, in the beginning you can see the one, two, three, four, and it's like really nice. Yeah. And you can do it in two ways. You can do it with a, a, a group like um they offer it's it's a race but not a race because yeah. everybody starts in their own pace and their own wave so 15 swimmers so you can see swimmers and kayakers and yeah, the, the, uh, it's, it's fun slightly more social yeah yeah you don't did swim you do all, that or did you do it by yourself i, I know i did with with a with, with a, a group, with yeah. a group so so it's not a race but it's fun to see someone and yeah, yeah. so you meet people yeah, around nice. yeah, yeah. And uh, and you talk a lot with the, the kayakers, yeah, yeah. so to find some currents as well. Uh, it's it's fun. And when you get close to the the Butter Sea area, it's a proper New York oh, okay. experience. You know the New York PD or jet skis, like yeah, yeah. Uh, helicopters, oh, ferries, yeah. sirens. You're just like wow, <laughs> I'm in a movie. Yeah, but cool. it's beautiful. And. Um, yeah, or you can do like they call a silent swim. Yeah. So you're gonna book a swim only for you. Yeah, yeah. So this is gonna be a little bit more expensive because apart yeah, of from the fees, yeah, yeah and you have to pay for the, all the permits and everything. Yeah. yeah. Did, did you do the Gibraltar straight solo or because you said they do groups of four for that one? Yeah, the Gibraltar, they, they have only one boat and there's a lot of issues during, uh, between the two countries and it's a busy channel uh, part and they have like a lot of issues with security, insurance as well. Yeah, so they don't willing to expand, like put another boat. I, I spoke with Laura about that. She's like, now we have to do this, this way. Yeah, uh, I think if it works for them. Yeah, but what they were trying to do is like a tandem swim, four swimmers, not not drafting, but like four, they can they can handle okay. four swims. But you have to know the other swims because the other swimmers, because they, they are pre, pretty clear about that. Okay. Like, yeah, okay, you have so to I need swim. To convince three more people from the swim tribe to come do it with me. Exactly, and the same same pace because in the end, where the currents are really strong, if a swimmer is struggling, yeah. and the others and yeah. and and they are jeopardizing the swim of the others, yeah, they go pull them out because uh, the tricky part for for Gibraltar swim that you have only six hours ish yeah, to, make it, yeah. to make it. So, so it, although it's the shortest, yeah, yeah, it is yeah, 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 it is, it is, because you cannot leave Spain uh, with like uh, with more than uh, ten kilometers per hour yeah. winds, and it's windy all the time. Yeah. yeah, and it's not from Gibraltar, is it? It's from Tarifa. Yeah, from Tarifa. Yeah. So and the landing spot in Morocco, it's uh, like 800 meters oh, okay. that, that you have to be. Re it's not like France, then you just, no, no, just you get just to France. Get there, yeah, no, no. There you have you have a specific spot. So I, I was like, when I was approaching Morocco, the authorities were like, okay, she is heading to the beach. So they should, I was not allowed to stand on the beach at all. So oh, really? I, yeah, so I had to. There was like a one. So you can't do the clear the water thing then. You clear the water, but you clear water in the jetty. Okay. You don't stand. Uh, <laughs> that's such a weird rule. It is. Okay. Yeah. 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 So that was like six hours. You have this 800 meters point that you have to be right uh, yeah. ah. there, and then yeah, that that's the time, the right time for for leaving and and get there. You cannot swim during the night. Yeah. You but, cannot which start. makes sense. I get it there. Yeah. It's a, a crazy busy place, isn't it? So, why are none of these swims in South America? Ooh. Why isn't there, or is there? Or maybe or you'll know more than most of us would. But, uh, um, I mean, well, I did one south, uh, a coastal swim. Yeah. Uh, 
We don't have like big channels in, I mean, I can tell about Brazil, that this side of yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the South oh, okay. America. <laughs> Yeah. The Atlantic, to yeah, uh, the, yeah, the Atlantic side, which is Brazil, I can tell. Uh, we don't have channels, yeah. and uh, some islands where the, there were not more than 15k. Oh, okay, so they're still decent swims, but not, not the scale we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, not these big channels. Yeah, but you have. I'm gonna try. I'll see if I'm gonna try this year, the summer, the Amazon River. Okay, yeah. So it's a 30k swim from one margin to another, yeah. so not straight line like on a diagonal. There can't be many people that have done that swim. No, oh. no. Uh, I think less than, I don't know, 20 maybe, yeah, yeah. something like that. So I want to try. It's going to be like warm waters, like around 30 degrees. Good preparation being here then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's perfect. Now, uh, before, when I was in preparation for English Channel, I was doing like ice baths at home. Yeah, yeah, the, the, another option. I have some friends who did like, listen, stop doing this. Just buy an horizontal freezer and put some yeah, water yeah, and then you're yeah. gonna get that. I was like, mm -hmm. okay, that's a good idea. That's, um, oh, I've forgotten her name. The Welsh lady, Myrtle Mermaid, does all these ice swims. I've seen her in one of those. Oh. I'll put her name in here. Okay. <laughs> what are your top tips for someone either just starting open water swimming, from, like you did, they're doing their first, not even 800 meters, say they're doing their first 400 meter swim, and then your top tips for someone who uh, is going to try their first channel swim? They might be the same tips. Yeah, I, I, I guess it's the same thing, you know. If you don't know, uh, I mean, if you don't know where you go, first, thing like get get all the knowledge you can about where you're gonna swim where so you're choosing the swim is, is probably choose your, yeah choose choose wisely if you don't choose wisely try to be wise yeah. <laughs> and get ready for what you chose and if you have questions <laughs> the Cambridge Swimming Company can help you yeah. I mean, uh, uh, talk to people who already did that and ask them so what's the course what's the most in uh, what's the challenge part of this where's the current or if you have the opportunity try to swim in that place or the begin uh, at the start swim or do the end or or the finish yeah. you know just get get familiar where you're gonna swim and uh, if it's cold, uh, it's, if you're not prepared with the cold, so get prepared with the cold. Won't and be a problem for most people watching this because they're all in England. So, they yeah, no, so the if it's warm, <laughs> you know, it's it's so challenging. Yeah. It's quite challenging to swim in the warm as it is to swim in the cold water. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, I usually like. I usually uh, do my feedings every 40, 40 minutes, yep. and I was looking for doing 45 in, in, in Hawaii. So as soon as I start training there, I was like, no way, I can't, I can't, I can't uh, feed every 45 minutes. It's really hot. Like my mouth was like oh, so dried. Yeah. yeah. So we changed. Like oh, it's gonna be every so 30 minutes. Exactly, it's going to be every 30 minutes and we need a, like a, a bucket with full of ice. All my feedings were in the ice yeah, okay. and at some point some ice inside my feeding. So, yeah. so you have to think this, it's a small things, but it can jeopardize well, you your swim. But A, B, C, D. Yeah. Exactly. And, and then it was all on ice. Another thing like, okay, I used to swim like uh, with the um, silicone cap. Yeah. And again, my head was like burning that temperature, yeah. yeah that temperature so and kelly was like okay i have this latex i was like oh it's not i mean it's i don't like it because it pulls your hair you can get um, cloth caps could you with that and help I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. I've not tried one. And it's really wavy. Yeah, I think the way we, yeah, we would wash it. Yeah. So I swam with a latex one which is really thin, you it just helps. Your head and then, you know. Yeah, we can do that. The same thing like in the North Channel, I use uh, like a really thick, uh, different, like a really thick yeah. uh, black 
Okay, yeah, just to silicone. As much heat as you can. Exactly. So uh, these okay. small things, you're just we, you you don't see like in books or. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, if you talk to details. swimmers, they just like, what did you did? What did you think about this and that? And you start collecting this more information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for me, swimming here in Dubai, I never use like earplugs. Okay, yeah. So when I start coding cold, cold yeah, water, awesome. I was like headaches. And then some guy at some point said, why you don't wear like earplugs? I said, what? Yeah, 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 try this. And it was like, yeah, anyone wears them here, yeah. And I was like, Eureka, oh my God, it changed. It was like, oh. I'm glad you said that. Because I used to, when I, I scuba dived at university in a place called Stony Cove in England, which is an old quarry that's been filled in. And the first time I went there was the motorway was covered in snow. It was just absolutely freezing. Ooh. And I had a semi dry suit on. And the guy instructing me said, Oh, uh, when you jump in, you'll see people punching their own head. It's normal, it, it relieves the brain freeze. And I thought, Yeah, he's just joking, he's winding me up. And as soon as I jumped in, all around me there's people punching themselves in the head. <laughs> Maybe if they had earplugs, they'd have been all right. But exactly. diving, you can't do that. Do yeah, 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 you yeah. can, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, like, and, uh, like, it's all, it, it doesn't matter if it's a 400 meters or a 40 kilometers, you have to be honest with your training, yeah. you know, because if you're not prepared for that, di for any distance, there's no magic yeah. there's no miracle you know you're not gonna get there yeah. you know uh, and even if you get you may be injured you're gonna injure your your neck your shoulder or something Whatever so be, yeah. exactly so be prepared for, for for the task that you are up to and uh, i mean physically and if it's start getting long distance then you have to work on the mentally and emotionally preparations as well so because you're not going anywhere if your mind yeah, not especially if you're going to swim for four hours in the same spot exactly yeah. you're not going anywhere if your mind is not set for that yeah. uh, like people used to say all these channels the seven channels like uh, the preparation the, the physical it's like 20 percent because yeah, you have to do that yeah, yeah? yeah. Uh, but the, the rest the first step, yeah. yes the first step to get ready you know okay i can swim i can swim that distance but the rest is going to be in your mind yeah. because if you're not prepared like the adversities will come it's a long long time in the water so and it's not in a pool you know it's not a control environment so yeah. The wind can pick up, like yeah, yeah. jellyfish can come, you can get stung, you can encounter some animals, not in a bad way, but, but, yeah. but it will change the dynamics. We should, of we should the, say there are some amazing animals you can see as well. Exactly. It's not all negative. <laughs> no, no, exactly. But it, Mostly positive, I would say, from, from my experience. Yeah, it is. So while I was training in, in Hawaii, I was telling Kelly all the time it's like I can't concentrate it here I just uh, can't swim yeah, here what properly she me about the dolphins <laughs> yeah I was like, I just can't you know I was swimming you can you hear the dolphins like giggling like yeah. and then all of a sudden they were just behind you and the turtles came close and you can see like I was in an aquarium they were like how can I want yeah. someone swim no, I did one race there, and at some point I'd stop in the middle of the race because there were like three big. Yeah. yeah, there were like three big stingrays. They were swimming. They, like, they was almost like they were flying in the water. Uh, and then I stopped, like wow. And I tried. Uh, I tried to stop some swimmers. Like look at this. Then they were just losing. Yeah, they yeah, were yeah, like no. Like, boring, boring like <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm not. I'm not racing anymore. Yeah. I'm just gonna enjoy. <laughs> It is so beautiful. And um, we very briefly mentioned uh, in tips about things that people won't know. It just reminded me of um, chafing and how you combat oh, that. So, yeah. uh, I think you put me onto Ocean Lube and I found uh, one you can free buy in Australia. Ocean Greece, sorry, Ocean Greece. Yeah, Ocean Greece. You can buy, uh, you can find in and a website for infinity for north channel okay, they yeah. they sell it yeah then you can buy that like been easier. i bought it from australia why did i do that <laughs> no you go infinity channel they have and i think they have 60 40 and the other yeah, one yeah. the different mix uh, yeah they have different yeah 
So I have that one. Uh, I don't. I don't use the whole body. Yeah. Uh, yeah well, I, I did. I hate but it's that, really that, personal. Kind of more of a um, psychological thing because it's not actually warming you up that much. Yeah. I, that, that's my belief. But it's really good. I. I, I mean, for shaving purpose. I use. Did you have to reapply it? No. So that was it. You put it on once and you swam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, see, that's amazing. So I did that once. Uh, I was, I was told to not use for the for the Hawaii because this is an animal fat okay. and uh, I, I don't know. They said that I some might be thing, smelling yeah. some kind of yummy, oh, okay. yeah, no. <laughs> like a, a, a yummy I snack. I think they just wanted to scare you as much as they could. Yeah, yeah. I, would, I think they had this idea. <laughs> they had that problem. So I put the, instead of Vaseline, I put like, you know, the so baby chafing yeah, yeah. thing because also like would be like a mo the sun, it's quite yeah. hot and there's something that you have to have in your mind as well. You know, if you're going to swim during the day, if it's like a hot place, woo! <laughs> it's a good job we got that camera. Yeah. <laughs> is this, this is to the air traffic controller in me. Oh, that's nice. So, chafing. So, ocean grease, Vaseline, or baby chafing. Um, the, so, the, the stuff I use for my tattoos is the Panthem. Is that, is that a, it's a brand name, but I don't know. I don't know what's in it. Yeah, so I had a really bad sunburn in, in New Zealand. Mm. Okay, of all the places. Oh, yeah, because they. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know, and it, it, it wasn't even like that sunny day, but oh my goodness, I never get sunburned so badly in yeah. my whole life doing a swimming than in New Zealand. It was not even sunny there. Wow. So for, for Hawaii, I was covered in like baby, yeah. I don't know what they call like, uh, they, I don't know, they, they have names, uh, Bepanto or this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. different yeah. Brand names. Yeah. Because at some point, like, it was taking a two hour, uh, I, Hawaii was 14 hours. Yeah. There's no sunscreen who will last that long. Who last that long. Yeah. yeah. So I just need something to block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the same with the yeah, tattoos, that's yeah. What people do with the, uh, they make some cream in with the stuff, don't they? And then they cover their whole body. Yeah. Whether that works. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. It's been very yeah. I hope Both personally, and I'm sure for everyone else. I hope I answer all your questions. Yeah, you did definitely. It's very interesting, and um, I look forward to doing it again when you've uh, finished the Japanese. <laughs> I'm sure that the water won't mind if we rest here for the night and leave before sunrise.